my name is Philip Braslett and I'm the lead cancer nurse at Hampshire Hospitals and that covers all of our sites in Basingstoke, Andover and Winchester and at the moment our private hospitals at Hampshire Clinic in Basingstoke and Sarum Road in Winchester. We've faced some challenging times haven't we uh, and the NHS and our GPs we are all open and ready for business and we're looking forward to seeing you. Uh, what we hope is that if you have seen your GP and you need to come to one of our hospitals for an appointment, for an investigation or even for an operation, that the information that you see in this video is going to reassure you that we are ready and it is safe for you to do so. Cancer is a serious problem but also a condition for which there are many and numerous treatments. So attend your appointments, uh, attend for your follow-ups, attend for your investigations and we look forward to seeing you. You're now going to see some videos and meet some of our staff at Winchester Hospital. Hello there, my name is Martin and I'm one of the car parking attendants at Winchester Hospital. When you arrive at the hospital, you'll find that we have designated car parking spaces, either pay and display or pay on exit. Our pay stations at the hospital are cleaned regularly and we do provide gloves for your convenience. You can pay by cash, card and contactless. If you need assistance when you arrive at the hospital, there's always a parking attendant available. We'll always keep a safe distance and we do wear, wear face masks. Hello, my name is Andrea Edwards. I'm a senior sister of the outpatient department at the Royal Hampshire County Hospital in Winchester. We see many patients through the department coming here for their outpatient appointments. On arrival to the department, you will be greeted by members of the outpatient team. They may be sat behind screens ready to welcome you. A member of the nursing team will ask you a number of questions prior to you being called through to your appointment. There will be hand sanitizer available for you throughout the department. Once the team are ready, you will be called through to your consulting room. During peak times, you may be given a pager and asked to wait outside. You will then be paged once your consultant is ready to see you. Hello, my name's Mandy and I'm the senior sister in the endoscopy department here at Winchester Hospital. I'd like to take you through a brief journey throughout the endoscopy department once you've had your referral from the doctor. We're asking our patients at the moment to come through the bowel entrance and um, not the main entrance of the hospital and then if you'd like to help yourself to a mask on the table obviously if you haven't bought your own and come up to the TC reception where you'll be greeted by um, one of the reception team. Our reception staff will be wearing a mask and working behind screens. If you have to wait for a few moments before your appointment you'll be designated a seat. Due to our additional safety precautions and cleaning regimes, we are limiting the number of procedures that are being carried out at this time. This allows us to ensure that you are kept at a safe distance from other patients throughout your procedure. When you are having your procedure, all staff will be wearing full PPE for their protection as well as yours. Unfortunately, at this time, we are asking that you come to this appointment by yourself. This is to reduce the risk to staff and other patients and thank you for supporting us in this. The nursing team are here to support you and will escort you back to whichever car park you are being picked up from. We've put all the preventative measures in place. This is very important if you receive your appointment that you attend. Thank you. My name is Dr Vincent Hellier and the Clinical Director of Radiology at Hampshire Hospitals. When you arrive at the hospital, you may find that you are directed to a different site. That's because we're using multiple centres now in order to help keep our patients away from the acute hospital site. A member of our team may contact you shortly before your appointment to make sure that you're still well enough to attend. We may find that you're invited to attend your appointment um, on a site that you're not familiar with or you might be asked to have your scan on a mobile unit like the one behind you here. When you come into the hospital you'll notice that there are some social distancing measures that have been employed uh, and that our staff are protected behind protective screens and that there are masks and hand gel available for you to use. Hello, I'm Polly Hill, I'm the 
colleague, I'm one of the radar here in the radiotherapy unit. I want to welcome you to the reception area. When you arrive, you'll be greeted by our radiotherapy assistants. So sat here. It's our temporary setup at the moment because we're having some work to do to our main reception. There behind the screen, they'll be in a mask. So you already have been given a mask and then off the hand gel on the way in. But this is where you will be seated and waiting for your appointment. For your treatment or for your planning, you will come through and get yourself changed. We've got changing rooms that are all individual. You'll then go through to either the CT or to the NAP for your treatment. You'll be treated by the staff that will look after you and make sure that your treatment goes well and answer any questions that you've got and we'll be seeing you probably more than once for these appointments when you come. Prior to coming to us each for the first appointment, we'll give you a call at home. Just make sure that you're well, make sure that your family's well and explain anything that you need to know. And obviously we'll see you every day when you come in and answer all your questions that you've got at that time. Hello, uh, my name's Nick. Welcome to the Mount Ward. Uh, you've been asked to come along for your pre-assessment uh, here at the... Uh, Royal Hampshire Couch Hospital at Winchester. I'd just like to take you through into the mouth so you can see what actually happens here. Uh, we have a dedicated team of nurses who will be undertaking the pre-assessment. As you come through the entrance here you can see there's a little area where you can get a mask. If you need a mask we'll always have plenty here and we'd like you to use the hand sanitizer before you come through into the main entrance. So if you'd like to now follow me through, I will take you on to the reception area, which is just down the corridor on the right-hand side. Uh, you'll, you'll obviously have a booked appointment. They'll check you off to make sure that your, um, everything is okay with the details, and we'll take you through to the pre-assessment area, where our dedicated team of nurses will uh, see you. We have a few dedicated rooms for your pre-assessment. Uh, these are all undertaken in either a cubicle area or into a larger room, but we do ensure that there is good spacing between patients so uh, to minimise any risk. The nurse will take you through the assessment and complete some paperwork with you. You will also have the opportunity to ask questions and to give them information you need about your admission, where to go and what time, as well as any arrangements that need to be made for your recovery. We currently undertake COVID swabbing 48 hours prior to your admission. The pre-assessment team will give you a time slot two days before surgery and this service is operated as a drive-through test. The result takes about 24 hours to process and will be ready for your admission. Hello, my name's Bree. I'm one of the domestic service leads. And this is Shanti, one of our lovely domestic ladies. We're part of a large organisation within the hospital. Our teams work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, keeping the hospital clean and welcoming for our incoming patients. Welcome to the treatment centre. My name is Georgina and I'm one of the sisters. Well, we're a 20 bedded ward, we've got two side rooms with an ensuite bathroom, and then we've got four beds which cater for two to six patients and then each bay has got its own bathroom inside. By the time you meet us here on the treatment centre, you will have had your surgery. And our job as nurses, along with the doctors, the physiotherapists, the occupational therapists and the pharmacists, will be to help you recover from your surgery as comfortably as possible and get home as quickly as possible. We look forward to meeting you. Hello, my name is Marion Woodhouse. I'm one of the chemotherapy nurse specialists here at Hampshire Hospitals. As part of your cancer journey, you may need to have some chemotherapy or other treatments. And thanks to our colleagues here at BMI Salem Road, we've been able to continue delivering those treatments at the same site away from our main hospitals. When you arrive at BMI Salem Road Hospital, we've got allocated patient parking, which is free of charge. On arrival, you'll be greeted by a member of our team. You will be wearing personal medical equipment. You will arrive at the tent outside the main building, and here you will have your observations taken and you will be asked a few screening questions. Once inside the building, like all of our members of staff, you will be asked to wear a mask and given a mask to wear. All of our waiting areas and our treatment areas have been set up to support social distancing. We have one small treatment area and one larger room. The room is called the Rainbow Unit 
and this is a merger of the Basing unit from Basingstoke and Nick Jonas from Winchester who have come together to work on one site during this time. The Acute Oncology Service is also working from Sarum Road. If you are unwell following your treatment or are experiencing symptoms that cause you concern, you will call our designated helpline. If you need to be assessed, the Acute Oncology team will be able to see you at Sarum Road or on a main site if you are required to attend the emergency department. The expert teams here at Hampshire Hospitals are here to support you through every step of your journey. We hope that you have found this information useful but most importantly reassuring. I want to encourage you that if you have an appointment to come along, to come for that appointment, confident that our service will keep you safe. If you have concerns, and you may well do, please talk to us. Call us on one of the numbers which will be on your information letters. Speak to your specialist nurse or a member of the medical team. Or phone your GP. But don't just not turn up because you're worried. Come and talk to us first. And we look forward to seeing you and welcoming you here at HHFT. Thank you.